So I've been getting some questions, what kind of heat mask is the right heat mask to use with a product line or with a heat based product line? And the question is a great one because not all masks are created the same. And I've had to learn this from trial and error. And the worst thing is when you have a mask that's a piece of crap and you go to use it and your client's all set up and then the heat doesn't work. You are hooped. You could use a traditional product on top, but then you're gonna have to like probably downgrade their service and lose precious money and the service won't turn out as awesome. So first of all, my advice would always to be have two on hand because that's just great practice with anything. If you have a lash fan, you wanna have two on hand, anything that could break on you and your during your services, right? Even a tweezer, you wanna have an extra tweezer. You drop your volume tweezer during a service, it's never gonna be the same again and you need to have something else to produce the same results but you also don't want to be ordering this heat mask a million times or have worse yet have it not consistently heating so it's warm the client tells you it's warm but it's not functioning the right way so i have done a lot of research on this i've been using a bunch of different products and ordering from so many different places so this is the one heat mask i'm going to share the link with you guys down below this heat mask uh, that's pictured here I've been using it for about a year in my studio. It is amazing. It can be sometimes too hot for clients. So whenever you do use this heat mask, I recommend that you ask them, first of all, if they have any burning or stinging, that that is not normal for this service and they should let you know right away because you're gonna need to check the products in their eye, but also you're gonna need to see if they have sensitivity on their skin. And this is especially if you're using any kind of brow lamination product or maybe they have had some sort of service before that you don't know about or they're using like a retinol or some sort of a skin solution that's gonna make their skin extra sensitive. Um, so check in with these clients beforehand because if they are super sensitive, caffeine also can be another one that can make you more sensitive, then you will get irritation from it. So the awesome thing about this heat mask is you can bump it down to the next heat down so you can always start them on high and then if it's too much bump them down to medium so let them know if it feels burning on your skin like too hot then just let me know and i'll bump it down to the next level and also tell them if it's not hot at all to let you know because there is a safety timer and a safety heat switch on this one that will flip it off so in the middle of the service it might go cold which is a good thing because it's not going to burn your client there are lots of ones from china you're ordering off of some site direct from china lots of those like they're from a company that's not going to ever get sued so they don't care about the quality of the product right you have something electrical on someone's face so please order the one that is high quality and so this one it's off amazon but it, it, i found it to be super high quality from a reputable supplier it's not the cheapest one out there but it is quality and in my experience has lasted a really long time with consistent heat results which will give you the best service and why are we not retailing a heat mask that's what everyone else has said to me too well i'm not in the business of creating heat masks i don't know anything about the heat masks circuitry or any of that gizmo stuff so i left that to someone who does know about that and <laughs> For me to offer the products on my site, I'd have to charge a fee for doing that work and having my admin and uh, doing all the taxes and stuff. So it doesn't make sense for me to do that. I'm offering you guys a link because it's the least expensive way for you to get the most awesome thing. And generally on my site and through Elevate Beauty Supply, we will always share with you where to get the most awesome thing for the least expensive. And if it's not through us, we will share the link with you. So I think that's something that separates us from a lot of different beauty supply companies because most of them will let you do that like work or they will offer you something and it'll be more expensive. Um, and eventually you just figure it out and order it from the other site. But I think just make it easy for you guys. So if you're going through our site and you see a note like that or one of our programs, Elevate Beauty Education, we do this too. We take you guys through all the tips and tricks that we've gone through to find all these like little pieces to your business that we don't provide. We're consistently checking these prices for you guys and the quality of these items. So generally it's guaranteed that you are going to get a quality item for the best price possible. And so that's why we don't carry some of these things because it's just not in the best interest of our clients or our students so why would we we just link you to the one that's super awesome and cheaper so if you guys have any other questions keep them coming i'm always going to try and update you guys through the youtube channel and lots of our youtube content does trickle through our instagram as well so that everyone's on the same page i'd like to share with this other video with you guys uh, too about our heat based products and if you're looking for a way to improve your beauty business next year check this video out too it's last week's video but if you didn't catch it it's pretty good and it will open up a lot of different opportunities for you and things to think about with how you can improve your beauty business over the next year.